So we're on station four now, which is halfway between the coast of Chile and Easter Island. We've also reached the halfway point of our cruise today. So we've, been, we've learned how to live on board. Uh, we've learned how to work together. And that's important because uh, out here, it's a very different system than uh, what we were looking at inshore. So inshore, it was upwelling. Nutrients were brought to the surface. Uh, the algae and uh, microbial biomass was much closer to the surface. Light only penetrated to 30 or 50 meters there. So we were really focused on that portion of the water column in our studies. Out here, the water is much bluer. Uh, light penetrates instead of 30 meters like inshore, it's, it's penetrating now to 100 or 120 meters before it, it goes away. And a lot of the microbial biomass and chlorophyll is now located below the 100 meter isobath. So it it's much farther uh, down in the water column and it takes us more effort to get those samples. So we've, we've been on station for a while now. We've, we've started our analysis, we've set up our experiments, and we'll continue to work here for a few more days before we push on to Easter Island. How does the microbial community structure here at Station 4 compare to Station 1? We've seen a large shift in the phytoplankton diversity. We've gone from large cells, a really diverse population, to phytoplankton that are mostly small in size. In fact, they're rather tiny. The most abundant organism here is Prochlorococcus. It's a cyanobacteria. We essentially owe every third breath to Prochlorococcus due to the amount of oxygen that they generate. In addition to the changes in the phytoplankton community structure, we've seen changes in the essentially the animals, those organisms that graze on or eat phytoplankton. We've gone from copepods to salps. Salps are gelatinous creatures. They're essentially filtering seawater through their bodies. We also see a, a large number of radiolarians. So in a sense, it's a totally different, a complete shift in community structure. We've gone from the Amazon to the Sahara Desert. Keep following along as we learn more about this region of the ocean.